Hello and welcome to GH Hausa. Let's learn Ghana Hausa together. Today is Monday, a wonderful day, a Monday of meeting friends, a Monday of being, being with you. Yes. Princess Nat Sendezua, sending Yakiki, Princess Nat. Yakiki. Najim Murna Chikina, go on time. Ko wa lo ka chinda na ganki. Ah, mungur maala. Alhamdulillah ni kuman na lafia. Lafia de kalau. Lafia de kalau. So guys, if you just join, I can see as joining as early as possible. I mean, you tried being the first, but Princess Nadu took. Yeah. Guys, welcome. Gasti, I can see you here. Each and every one, you are welcome to GH Hausa. Sendezua. Here we learn how to speak Ghana Hausa. As usual today, we are here to learn something new. Or oh, let me see, something you know already, yet you've not paid attention to. That's what we'll be learning today. Aram Wezo, welcome. Sendezua. Tijie Chausa. Bienvenue. Without much ado, Monday as usual, we only spend like 15 to 20 minutes and that's what we'll be doing too. <laughs> Princess Nad, you are always the face. Sending Aram, sending Yakiki, Yakiki. Yes, Yakaki, Yakaki. Meikai yaw. Aram, meikikai yaw. Princess Nad, Nas ma kinti makaranta yaw kuba akanamba. So the first thing we'll be learning today, today we'll be learning about the family itself, family, but I want us to learn some this word, isn't it? Isn't it? This word, isn't it? Ahakani. Thank you. So I, I asked Princess Nado, I said, Koba Akanamba. Koba Akanamba. Which is, isn't it? Ko, you know we have ko mi, ko wa, and ko wa nini. But this time it's ko ba, ko ba, a kanang. It's actually ha kanang. But I prefer to write a ka, a kanang. My body is small, so I'm finding it's difficult to get a lot of space for it. So when we say Koba can number, Koba, let me write the ha. Ha. Ka. Nang. Mba. So this word, Koba ha can number, Koba ha can number, meaning isn't it? You can see it's very long. Isn't it in Hausa is very long. In French, they will say Nespa. French will say Nespa. Nespa is nu. It's um, nu. Su et pa. And the say pa is like Nespa. That's what the French will say. And in English, isn't it? Very short, but in Hausa is Koba Haken number. And Princess wrote, Princess Renard wrote, Hakani, Hakani. So if you see Kuba Hakan number, it means isn't it? ABC, Sherry, bienvenue ici, hein? Et te voir. Okay. Now let's jump back to what we want to learn today. Today, as I said, is about the family. The topic for today is the family. So let's start with. Um, the two people that start with the family, that's the mother and the father. The mother and the father. How do you even say mother in your language? I want to know the language you speak. Write it in the comment section. How do you say mother in your language? How do you say mother in your language? I want to find out from you. And which language do you speak? So you write the name of the language. If you speak Ewe, or let me say Eve, you write the Eve. 
then you add if a mother is uh, um, then you add it if it's chi you write chi mother is if it's fancy if it's swahili if it's mami ga okay papa ga okay so in ga in ga language mami is mother and papa is father what about you guys back with welcome send us well. so i want to find out from you how do you say mother in your language so you write the language if it's swahili if it's zamrama if it's um grushi if it's any other language kb send us well. so kb i want to find out from you how do you say mother in your language write that language then you write mother in the language you get it so princess nad has written mommy which is how the ga people say it and papa for ga as father and mommy you said mommy is it chi is it fancy is it um Nzuma? which language is it i want to find out from you before we learn it in Hausa, chi okay thank you nagode um enogwe e enonye enonye abc i hope i'm right enonye enonye karamala karamala i can see you here yeah kiki i can see you here so we have the enonye to mean mother even in chi you will say eno to mean like mother eno mother then etunye etunye so abc which language is that what is bazaki kb we will come to that one na nima class na okay then uh, uh, Okay, Leo, can you class kati? Can you class kati? To ga class n yo. Ne kenan munachkin class. Thank you guys for part of it. Karamala, I can see you are doing a good work today. You are part of it for me. Thank you very much. You of all people, you should I you would have been online by this time. But I mean not online, but you're live. But you are here with me part of it. Thank you very much. I mean, thank you everybody for being here. That's Ewe, Enunye, and Etuji. So let's learn it in Hausa. How will you even say mother in Hausa? Now that we know how to say mother and father in other languages, how do you say it in Hausa? So in Hausa, you will simply say Ima. Okay, I like what... The Ima that Princess Nada has written is like an Asante person speaking it. An Asante person speaking the Ghana Hausa. And I can see Odogu here, senior man, Odogu, send as well. So we have Uma. Uma or Ua. So you either say Uma or Ua to mean mother. Ma or Ua. So, when you hear someone saying Mmanka, Mmanka, in two ways, Mmanka can mean an insult. Mmanka can be an insult. When someone says Mma, it's like someone saying your mother. Like, you know, it's based on the intonation. Your mother or Mmanka or Womame or um, Enunye, the ga, the ever they will say enunye, and ga, I think they will say, um, um, mami. <laughs> well, I don't know how you say it, but ma, when you say umana, umana, my mother, umana, my mother, umanka, your mother, umanki, your mother. Mmanku, your mother. I know you 
by this time you know the ki ka ku and not the terminator song like ki ka ku which is you or your so umanka umanki umanku your mother umanta her mother umanshi his mother umansu dia mother then umamu a mother is the same as saying uana my mother uanki uanka so ua or uma means mother I hope you get it. Now let's come to father. Father in Hausa, you've been hearing it. It's Baba. So that's why you, we sometimes, those juju men in Nigerian movies or in Ghanaian movies, you will hear people say, Oh, may call Baba ho. May call Baba ho. The Baba is in Hausa where it will mean father. Baba. Ba. Ba. So Baba is father. Is either Baba or Uba? Uba. So you either say Baba or Uba. Baba. Uba. So Babana or Babanka. Babanki. Babanku. Babansu. <laughs> you get it. So when you say Baba or Uba, when someone says Ubanka, it means your father, Ubanki. Your father. Ubana, my father. Wanene Ubanka. Or Wanene Babanka. Wanene Babanka. Who is your father? Wanene. Who is? Who is it? I always say Wane Babanka. Who is your father? Who is your father? Wane Babanka. Or Wane Umanka. Or Umanki. Who is your mother? Then you say, Baba Nani or oh, Mma Nani. Okay, Karamala, now go to so say, now go to so say, thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Hope to see you in your life. Huh? Thank you, now go to, ciao. So, Mma Nani, my mother is, sometimes someone will ask you, Kei Deng Wa Nani, Kei Deng Wa Nani. When someone says kai dan wane ni it means kai dan wane ni so kai o ke dan wa ni ni when you are asked this question kai dan wane ni kai dan wane no ke dan wane ni k is for ladies K is for guys. So let me just answer um, Leo so that we can continue. Leo, Bakazua means won't you come or you won't come. Like, first we say Bakazua, won't you come? You know, Zoe is to come. And sometimes when you say Bakazua, it means you won't come or you won't go. So it can mean you won't go, you won't come, or won't you come, depending on how you are saying it, or don't come, as Princess Nad has written. Now, let's come to here. Kate Dunwa Nedi. Whose child are you? When you say Kate Dunwa Nedi, it means whose child are you? Or Kate Dunwa Nedi, whose child are you? We can also say Kate Dian Dia Dia. Or Kayaru Kayan Wanene Dia is also means child. Kaydia means child. When you say Kayaru, it means whose son. Or when you say Kayarian, it means whose daughter. Yaria, daughter. We come to that one itself. So mother again is Ma. Father, Baba. Mother can also be Ua and Uba. We let's just go to oh kebi kageji kakageji kakageji need a kena nageji need a kena I'm also tired I need a kena nageji I'm at the I'm here guys be part tapping on your screen and make sure to share this live make sure to share this live 
and do subscribe. Certain things will be for only subscribers. Certain things will be for only subscribers. Like being able to chat with me on WhatsApp because if you ask for my WhatsApp number, even if I give it to you, we won't chat. But those have that have subscribed, I will try as much as practicable to get time for them. But ask to chat. You get it. But if you haven't subscribed, don't come and disturb me. The only free thing you get is watching my videos and coming to my life. <laughs> yes. Um the princess not asked something. Udugu has Okay. Yes, Yasmin. We are on YouTube too. YouTube is the same thing. Just go and type YouTube www.youtube.com slash at gh underscore hausa and you will find us. You get it and you find us. Yeah yeah. So let's let's continue. Now that you know Uma and you know Baba or Ua and um Uba, let's come to the children. When you have an elder sister, elder sister is called Ya yeah. Yeah. So in Ghana Hausa, I don't know how you say it in Nigeria Hausa, but maybe Odogu can help us. In Ghana Hausa, when you say Ya Ya, Ya Ya represents elder sister or elder brother. Ya Ya. Ya Ya. It represents elder sister and elder brother. Yeah. But don't um, confront Ya. Don't confront Yaya with Yaya. We have Yaya and Yaya. When we say Yaya, Yaya, it means what is it? It's Menene. Menene. So Menene and Yaya. Both are the same. Menene. Yaya. You get it? But when you say Yaya, it means elder brother or elder sister. Elder brother or elder sister. Odogu, I don't know whether in a gen house are you separate both of them. And Leo, Naseni, it means I know. Naseni means I know. As Princess Nad has written for you. I know. Thank you, Odogu. So it's the same thing in Ghana Hausa. Yaya means elder brother, elder sister. So guys, how will you say my elder brother? My elder brother is Odogu. Yaya nani Odogu. Or you say Odogu Yaya nani. Odogu Yaya nani. You get it? Odogu Yaya nani. Which means Odogu is my elder brother. How will I say Princess Nad is my elder sister? Princess Nad Yaya nani. Or Yaya nani Princess Nad. Yaya na my elder brother or sister. Yeah, yeah, elder brother or sister. It's the same thing that the aged, if someone is the eldest in the house, we call the person Yaya. Yeah. The eldest in the house is called Yaya. Yeah. So don't forget, Yaya yeah means elder brother or elder sister. How will you say younger brother or younger sister? This time around is separate. Obago, Yaya Yasmin. This time around is separate. Younger brother is called, um, I'm coming. Younger brother is called Kenny. Kenny. So we say Kenny is younger brother. Kenny is younger brother. And Kenua, Kenua, Kenua. Kenua is younger sister. So younger brother is Kenny. Younger sister is Kenua. So you say Kenny na Kenny na ni. Eh, maybe Kenny na ni G H Chausa or G H Chausa Kenny na ni. Kenny younger brother. Kenny younger brother. And you say Kenua na ni A B C U or Kenua na ni Princess. Bintu. 
Kenu Anani, Princess Bintu. So Princess Bintu is my younger sister. You can also say Kasan Kenina. Do you know my younger brother? Kasan Kenina. Like um, Leo asks, you can say Nasan Kenuanka. I know your sister. Maybe you love my sister or you love my brother. You can come to me and you can simply say Nasan Keninka. Na sun kenika, I love your younger brother. Or na sun kenuanka, I love your younger sister. So if you love my younger brother or my younger sister, then you can come to me and say it. Don't be afraid. You are welcome. Ah, huh? Yasika, thank you for following. Yasika, thank you for following. So na sun kenika, na sun kenuanka, keni younger brother kenua younger sister but yaya for both younger brother and younger sister guys question for me question no question do you have any question for me we've learned mother father elder brother elder sister so that means today we've learned the nuclear family the nuclear family wednesday we will go to the extended family you go to the extended family. So today is about the nuclear family. Next week, the extended family. Alaska, send us Alaska, send us Yaya, elder brother, elder sister. Question, no question. Guys, do you have any question for me? I don't want us to learn a lot of stuff. This small one is okay. Question, no question. good, yeah. Guys, I'm waiting for your question. If you don't have any question, then we may end the live for today. Then we will meet on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Ghana Man Time, GMT. So I'm waiting for your question. Do you have any question for me, guys? Don't my Listen, if you are here, it means you want to learn, meaning you have to ask questions. If you don't ask questions, what do you want to learn? Now you are free to ask me any question. Bagodia, Alaska. Bagodia. Oh, Ali, Bagodia. And please do follow each other. If you are here, follow each other. Follow someone and the person will follow you. Follow someone, the person will follow you. That's how we build the community. You get it? That's how we build the community. So that if you don't join, someone can forward the life for you. So Leo, Gerina is my country. Gerina, my country. Gerina ni Ghana. O Ghana Gerina ni. Gerina ni Ghana. Kwame, thank you for the follow. Kwame, thank you for the follow. Nagori, anagori mabine kaina. Ghana Gerina ni. Ghana Gerina. Ghana is my country. And if you haven't watched the Ghana National Anthem, go and watch it in my video. One of my videos, we learned how to say the Ghana National Anthem in Hausa. The Ghana National Anthem in Hausa. Go and watch it, learn it. It's about time we learn to say certain things in some of the languages we speak in our country. What do you think? Kara is break. Kara is break. Kara to break Leo. Send zua. When we say send zua, it's like you, you agree when someone greets you. No, not so when someone greets, but you see, you just walk inside and you are I'm welcoming you. You know, when you visit somewhere, a place, or let me say, please say, you just came to Ghana. When you arrive in Ghana, you see Akwaba. So that Akwaba means Sendezua. Akwaba means Sendezua. But when we say Bagudia, it means don't mention it. Bagudia, don't mention it. But Sendezua means Akwaba. Sendezua, Akwaba. There is no right time to use J and T. J, T, they are used interchangeably. It's the same word. J, T, J, T, they are used interchangeably, Leo. So you can use them anytime you want. 
je te a je gida o te gida go home te kai kwana go and sleep o je kai kwana go and sleep akosia instead of saying thank you i would prefer you say na gode na gode and instead of saying okay okay in hausa is okay in Ghana Hausa, we we say to to t o o, which will be two or if I'm to use the P phonetics, it will be te o o to. It will be te o o. So okay in Ghana Hausa is to. Or as Princess Nada has written, t h o, not two t h o. I prefer what Princess Nada writes. You get it. Princess Nana, don't worry. I'll prefer that one. I think te to <laughs> so to. I'll prefer that one. JK, I know right. Bad news. JK has been a while. But guys, it's time for us to end this live. If you haven't subscribed, please go and subscribe to Jhausa on TikTok and Jhausa on YouTube, Facebook. And I know that majority of you can't download my videos. This is how you can do to download the videos. So first, share the video to your story. If you share the video to your story, then haven't shared it on your story and you can see it at your story, click on the video on your story, not on mine, but on your story. When you click on it, then you go to the settings, you will see download, then you can download it. Then you can download it. I hope you get it. If not, then you go to my Facebook page. You'll be able to download it. YouTube, I want to reach to a certain number before I will continue posting there. Who are you? Is Kwanini? Who are you? Kwanini or Kwanini? Kwanini or Kwanini? So, guys, thank you for joining my live today. It's always a pleasure to see you here, and it's always pleasure to have you in to know that you are learning something now go this so say now go this so say we will end the live and we shall meet on wednesday we shall meet on wednesday and of course thank you princess now thank you s thank you to your brother too. i think i think that's leo thank you very much for subscribing and thank you smoke Thank you, Akusia, Ali, JJ, Amas, Arab, Mani, JK, even though you were late. Gasti, D, uh, DJ, Jehoni, Ofori, User, Abu, um, Abdul Kabir, Abdul Kadir, Aisha, and I know Baron Kodenkam, Odogu was here, a Nigerian house teacher, and all of you, Essence, I can see you. So guys, we will end the live here. And we shall meet on Wednesday. Inshallah, by the grace of God. Inshallah, we shall meet on Wednesday. And don't forget to chat me on my DM, TikTok DM. Not because I won't give you my WhatsApp line, but my TikTok DM and I'll reply you. Inshallah, yes. See you on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Ghana time. Ciao. Bye. Shide Anjima.